So to get the mold ready for concrete, it needs to be smooth and stiffened up. So polyestershopper.nl provided some cool products. We're going to do use the EP101 epoxy resin of Raison with its hardener using some mixing beakers and some mixing sticks. Of course, a set of gloves, some brushes and some rollers. So to make my life more easy, I also got myself three beautiful colors. So these colors are the Raison epoxy pigment. And these are used to color the epoxy. And that way I can see what spots I hit. And when sanding, I can see when I'm sanding through the layer because then I see the previous color. So let's apply that on the mold. Four coats of epoxy went on this foam mold. First a white one, then a yellow one and two of the black coats. I did a lot of sanding in between of those coats and finally I put on some spray filler. The spray filler made it easy to do some wet sanding and it looks nice. It has a really smooth finish now. But I might regret, regret this because if it's a cementitious product, it might stick to the concrete later on. But well, it looks cool in the video anyway. I did with some cutoff pieces. I made another mold. Didn't sand this one, but it will prevent the full mold of filling with concrete. So basically I try to keep the weight down a little bit. I want it to be firm but not weighing so much that I need four friends to help me. So the mold making is done. Time for the GFRC, the glass fiber reinforced concrete. HDH Holland is specialized in GFRC products. Check, take a look at their website, link in the description. They have some beautiful products and I'm lucky enough that they sent me a box of those beautiful products. Let's see what's inside. The how to. Some caulk for the mold to make it watertight. Some paste wax and some magic towels to be used as mold release. HDH Cure, which is an acrylic polymer. More on that later. The HDH Super Plastifier. Of course, a lot of glass fibers, 
some pigments to color it, impregnate and a lot of sanding blocks of all different grids to polish the end re result.
So the concrete came out of the mold perfectly. It looked absolutely fabulous, but the top was quite a bit darker than the sides and the cavity. So I get the feeling that the pigment was kind of sacking to the bottom of the mold. I talked to the guys at uh, High Design Holland and they told me, well, after wet sanding, it will all be fine. So, and basically they're, they're right, it's true, but I had to do a lot more sanding than I thought to be doing because it was already super, super smooth. And really, I really hardly had to sand it if it wasn't for the color difference. So I started out with the sanding blocks they provided but I cheated a little bit using my uh, Rupus Bigfoot and a lot of these diamond discs from Amazon, link down in the doodly doo. Um, so now it is absolutely beautiful. I like it. You see a lot of the small stones that's from the sand. Uh, you also see some of the glass fibers well let's just say we like it this way and it's a rustic look so we keep it like this um, now it's time for hdh impreg so the impreg uh, which is made on basis of uh, bee wax so let's uh, put this on the concrete and see what we get some stainless steel, some steel tubing and some oak wood, we finished this project. I hope you like the project, I hope you're gonna try it for yourself. Make sure to have a look at the links down in the description box below to get some products from polyestershopper.nl and High Design Holland for the concrete. And of course, don't forget, if you have to have a mold machined using a CNC machine contact Robo CNC hope you liked the video if so thumbs up subscribe if you didn't already and see you in the next one